Can I just get in and... Okay, all the glass is broken. Never mind, it would get a little bit windy up here, I guess. Wait. That canister is way too big. That should just have a single thing for like a blueprint or something. Oh well, whatever. Take the terror tokens. I need to stick my uh, teleporter down outside. Take the rocket engines. Uh, yeah, I think the devs of this game have added more in their 1.1 update, or was it even 1.1? I'm not sure. Than was added in this Marvel 2.0 update. So, you know. <laughs> And it's a team of, I think, two makes this game. So, you know. Generally use decor mods. I've never seen the point of that. All the mods are so wacky. It's like the laser cannons in your vehicle. Yeah, I, which are the mods that I've looked at and never once wanted to try. So, And they're also the mods that really doesn't matter if the, the game breaks. If it updates. Because they would never have any intention of doing that in the game. I mean, there's plenty of other games with silly things like that, surely. Seems weird to play a game like Subnautica and then do stuff like that. Um, super alloys. And back we go again. This becomes a, a loop of just teleport, strip the wreck, <laughs> and then teleport back again. The main thing I want is just more fuses for things, quite frankly. So the fact that this little container has so much stuff in it is hilarious to me. And already we're full again. So this is where I'm really glad that there's a teleporter now. I still feel that the teleporter shouldn't be just a slap it down. Like I should have to build a little bit of a base with some support infrastructure. Like it should be a special room is the only room that you can put a teleporter in. I think that would make sense and be reasonably fair. Yeah, we probably just upgrade all of our lockers at some point to be tier twos. All of that. Our rocket's back. We can also just start sending off some uranium rods because they're worth eight per um, and we're not using them at the moment like building 89 bases all around the map yeah exactly i mean i have a bunch of satellite bases around since i got the teleporter i don't need too much anymore so i just realized you're still talking about subnautica as well rather than uh rather than this but in subnautica i didn't build multiple bases pretty much at all uh, but in this i'm peppering them all around the map because the difference is that in this, you've got much more reason to go back and revisit biomes time and again. Like, early on, you're exploring because you're just trying to find some more blueprints and trying to find new materials, getting all of the special stuff, and you find that a lot of things are locked behind, like, up the ice areas or just wreck progression. The tier 2 deconstructor as well was a gate for me for a while. You kind of make a first pass and you see things how they are pre-terraform. You make some progress on the terraforming. You can then go back and see more progress that you've made in those areas and how more things have opened up. And then as you discover more things like, you know, the fusion energy cells, I'm going back and revisiting wrecks and stuff again because now I can open up more doors. So there's a lot more reason to explore the map and build more satellite bases and stuff to support you. Especially when you don't yet have uh, free oxygen. Then you need to have little staging bases all around the place. You never needed to do that in Subnautica. That was that was one thing where it kind of fell down. Is you never needed to build lots of bases. And you never really needed to explore more than a third of the map. Like they added pinning recipes and made the air bladder usable. I don't. I don't see the point. None of the recipes in Subnautica were complex enough and you never had to make enough stuff to make pinning recipes that valuable, in my opinion. And the air bladder... I mean, usable in what way? It's not usable, really. Not in real gameplay, I don't think. Once you get a Seamoth, you don't need the extra mobility and you don't need the extra oxygen. So... Alright, let's head back to this wreck. Tier 3 heater remains. Okay, well, that's not that useful, is it? <laughs> okay, you know what? I am actually going to make a little base nearby, though. It's not the most kind of visually striking or appealing biome, but at the same time, it's kind of cool. Uh, we can just stick a base up here. I need more titanium. Wasn't there anything complex like a four-part recipe which required more and more parts? No, not really. I mean, there was the rocket, 
but you didn't learn what the next bit took until you'd already made the first one. They, they should have made the Cyclops like a three-part thing. Like, you unlocked the engines, the hull, and the bridge separately. So they should have made it that you had to build each of them separately. And then it put them together for you would have been nice. There we go. Bomp, bomp. Construct our way through here. And, ooh, hello. 1,200 tree seed. Okay. That escalated quickly. <laughs> ooh, and a cool spacesuit. Okay, so take that one off, put that one on. I can't see it. <laughs> oh, well. Lux butterfly larvae. I keep unlocking more butterfly larvae, but I've already... Like, if you look carefully, you can find rare ones around in biomes that are better than the ones you unlock anyway. This game does a really good job of, like, defeating itself in some respects. Right, but this seems to be the last locker now. There doesn't appear to be a fusion door in this base. Honestly, super alloy at the moment is not that useful either. It drops from the frickin' sky. Now what else is in there, in this biome as well? There's a crate over there, looked like. Yeah, okay, so we've got to come back here still. But we can bamf out and ditch some stuff first. Cool. Got some really high expectations. The base building is from Nautica 2. I would not, personally. <laughs> I mean, I try and avoid having particularly high expectations of games in general. You don't know what it's going to be like. And it just doesn't seem right to set yourself up for potential disappointment if it doesn't meet your lofty expectations like they could decide to go a completely different direction they might decide that they don't want to emphasize the exploration in the game they don't have to or the base building rather base building is not what makes subnautica what it is in my opinion it's handy and it's fun but it certainly isn't game defining the exploration part to me is far more the game defining part than base building you know it's more of a mystery problem solving game that's what defines it so the base building you can not build a base at all and finish the game it's in no way the defining feature of the game if that's what you enjoy about it great but that's not the focus so you can't expect it to hold up to that surely i think below zero as well you, you had even less reason to build any bases i think you kind of had to expand a bit more quickly out of your drop pod, I guess. Um, so we should try and build another tier 2 tree spreader, really. So I've got the big seed in there now, but if we can make another one. Just hope it's not half-assed. That's a fair expectation. Yeah, <laughs> You don't want them to, yeah, fold it in. I just hope they don't penalize players, essentially, for trying to do things a lot of the changes around crafting and stuff and tell me you hate speedrunners without telling me that you hate speedrunners because it certainly wasn't solving any problem in the game <laughs> okay well we'll go away we'll explore a bit more and then we'll come back and things will be ready more blueprints okay uh, we can't decode anything <laughs> we have like eight blueprints See, I have a second save, which is my early access save that I've been also playing in parallel, just to experiment with different things. And I have had such a dearth of blueprints in that. It took me forever just to get the tier two deconstruction. And I still don't have explosives, but I've pretty much done everything else that I have in this save. <laughs> it's, it's interesting how random it is. Another 1200 tree seed. Jeez. I mean, that's what these things are around here, I guess, in this biome. That's absurd, though. Okay. I mean, a lot of the stuff I can just leave behind now, and I don't need the, this iron on me, for example. 1,200 seems like such a huge jump. It's absurd. I kind of wish that there was more that were just duplicate instead of it going, yeah, or, or minor differences, but the fact that it jumps up to, like, yeah, 400, 1,200. It's like, well, I know what I'm going to be using and then it just becomes a bit of a monoculture because there's no incentive to do different trees why would i plant different trees when i have 1200s at my disposal right 
Another Pulsar Quartz is good, though. I now have enough to make another fusion cell if I need to. So that's good. We're being led further and further around this biome. I wonder where it goes. What's... Where are we on our map? I never built the other GPS satellites, too. I should probably do that. Oh, more explosive stuff. Oh, this is probably just another entrance, isn't it? Yeah, the, okay, this goes through to the ring base. Ah, okay. Cool. So many of these, production time divider. I guess if I then... If I put that down by the farms, would that produce them super, super quickly? Um, but yeah, I think I want to build another production thing. Um, which I needed explosive powders for anyway. For some reason. I don't quite understand why you need explosive powder for a machine optimizer. <laughs> Oh yeah, drone station, that's the other thing. I should probably build experiment with those. I generally don't like using them much, but minus 8.50 per second, damn. This down here, and put this fuse in there. Do these get affected? Probably not. These are growth as opposed to production, right? So it's hard to see because it doesn't have a percentage on it well i guess well this will show what it's targeting eh no it's not targeting those at all is it targeting anything five machines i'm not seeing anything being targeted okay well i mean i don't know what production it would be maybe with these help yeah production time instead of growth they say production time so that probably impact those what about beehives production time as well making the silkworms quicker is a definite win yes those are targeted beehives not close enough i think 128 seconds okay yep so that's definitely targeted then oh pulsar excellent nope super alloy inside <laughs> don't like the idea of the teleporter in this game. It seems a bit too convenient. I mean, no power draw, no structure need. Oh, it's got power draw. It's like 2.30 per second or something. 2.76 per second. So it's, it's a high power draw. Though lower than the drone station, of all things. But it's a high power draw. But yes, the fact there's no cooldown, there's no particular structure required. Like, it would make more sense to me if you needed a specific room same as the fusion generators they should have a specific room that they need to be placed within yes now we have these ugly red trees all over the place but i mean hey if we want to min max our oxygen that's just what we got to do is we just got to replace everything with the rubero trees right i'm going to make a tactical decision though that i don't want to do that i'm i'm actually going to just stash these back in my base and not use them because i don't like the idea of having just a monoculture of red trees let's go back to here for now again what are you lorpen butterfly larvae that's the thing is you do find other larvae just around the place what does that one do 600 nice uh what else is there that we should be playing with it is it's pretty much just the drone station really isn't it which i'm not sure i care too much about um, oh yeah, butterfly lava. Let's go check out our butterfly house. Oh, we can do a butterfly farm now as well. So we've got 600 and 800. Okay, well, we're not putting anything in here, that's for sure. Uh, we Do we have the butterfly farm? No, not yet. Okay, I guess we have to unlock that still. I thought I'd gotten to that point. Ah, oh, it's the next one. 3.25 for plants. Okay, it's close. That's cool. More insects than plants, interestingly. We really kind of gave up too early on plant spreaders and tree spreaders because <laughs> I got distracted by the ability to have insects. The evolutionary path in this game is also a bit backwards in places because I think the next thing is fish. We should have had fish a long time ago. <laughs> fish come before a breathable atmosphere and insects realistically. Oh we have uh we have enough if we can get three honey then we will have enough to make a cake. Not No honey yet. Uh, let's just put that in there for now. 
will take a little while. Butterfly farm, there we go. What do I need for that then? Tier two fertilizer, zeolite and bioplastic nugget. Okay, tier two fertilizer, zeolite. Bioplastic nugget I need to create, I believe. I now have bees inside because I put the beehives right outside the door. <laughs> oh well. Um, let's make our cake, shall we? Birthday cake! How is that not an achievement? Making the... And I, I can't even use it or anything. Yeah, I can't do anything with it. it. just It's just there. I just wanted to make it for the novelty factor. How is that not the achievement? Anyway, um, we can do a butterfly farm just around here somewhere, I guess. We'll put it over here where our other thing used to be. Our beehives used to be. And we'll chuck 600 in there. What's the difference between farm and dome anyway? 20 per second insects, 75 per second insects. Nice. So much, much more efficient. Okay, what else are we doing here? We kind of want to put down two more farms actually to double our production of flour and cocoa. I don't know. That, I think experimenting with that, it just doesn't feel that worth it at the end of the day. I haven't been finding bioplastic nuggets uh, in wrecks and stuff, weirdly. It's kind of annoying. Would be nice to find a few more of those. Can I just send the birthday cake even though it's not worth anything? Maybe? I wonder if it'll just come back again. Cookie only nine. That should be like 90. And the, the chocolate cake should be 50. And then we'll just grab more engines and we'll just send them off. I just keep getting rocket engines. I, I don't know if that's the game's clue that I'm meant to send more satellites up all the time. If it is, I'm not taking it. And instead I'm just doing that. However, GPS satellite would be nice. I don't have the tier three. I don't even have the map information, I think. Ooh, aquarium, there we go, fish level, nice. If I make three compasses, four compasses, then I can get all of that stuff. Oh yeah, tier four exoskeleton. I don't have enough equipment to warrant that. Cool. Map information rocket, let's send that off. So I don't have one of those yet. We can make the tier 4, but not the tier 3. Can we skip if we just make the tier 4? There's one way to find out, right? We'll make the tier 4 and we'll launch that and then see what happens. Yeah, it counts us as having the tier 3 now. That's funny. It says you can move the map. I mean, I can already move the map. Doesn't let me use arrow keys. Oh, I can use the arrow keys now. Oh, is that what it was? That's such a stupid thing to lock behind that. But now we have max zoom level. But when you zoom out entirely, you can't actually see what these things are. <laughs> Map information, I thought it was going to point out wrecks and stuff, but instead it's pointing out resources. So you have the super alloy cave, uranium, sulfur, osmium, zeolites. Interesting that zeolite is up there and not in here. We've got iron. I mean, iron's the default anyway. Obsidian, cobalt over there. More uranium, more sulfur, apparently. Oh, aluminium. Yeah, of course, we can mine aluminium from those rocks. That makes sense. Magnesium, iridium. Nothing up there, nothing up there. Well, not as useful as I would have liked. Never mind. Now we don't need to worry about the tier 3. Unlocking the tier 4 gave us the tier 3. I'll take it. <laughs> Slight exploit. Uh, what do we have from these guys now? I should make two more of those as well. Yeah, we can make mutagen and tier 3 mutagen, but not tier 2. Hmm. Um. <laughs> what do we need for the aquarium? Oh, that's easy. We'll put the aquarium... Oh, I can't. I can put it there. There we go. What does that do for me exactly? <laughs> I guess I need to gather fish eggs. And then I can just grow them? And just generates animals. Yeah, animals four per second apparently. Phytoplankton B in tier three mutagen. Where do you get the phytoplankton from then? Oh, you need the collector, don't you? Oh, there's tier two mutagen at 50 tons of insects. But we've unlocked tier three already by virtue of just the tier formation index. I guess that's a sign that we've pushed too high on some of the other things. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Water life collector, that's the one. Yeah, phytoplankton. So we're behind on oxygen, but ahead on heat, probably, is the problem. 
you can just get so out of step weirdly or i can get some uh fish eggs from the uh trade rocket is the other thing i can do but yeah we could get some fish eggs and it will multiply 500 sure why not we can get frog eggs too we don't even have amphibians yet but we can get frog eggs can they go in the aquarium as well one way to find out let's get greedy why not